What's up guys? I uh, want to give you a quick tip on how to do some stretching or create some range of motion while you're at work and using a desk. I'll have this little table here in this chair and I'll show you four or five stretches. <clears throat> so we're going to start out with some shoulder stretching. The two biggest problem areas that we see at the gym for people that sit all day are the hips and shoulders. So we're going to start with the shoulders and the arms and we'll work our way down. So the first one is maybe using uh, the desk to get our forearms and our wrists stretched out. If you've been typing all day and your wrists are stuck in this position, you come in and try to do some type of front rack work, you're going to experience some uh, discomfort there. So just maybe 20, 30 seconds like this, 20, 30 seconds like this, a couple times a day will really start to loosen that up, maybe give you a little bit better positioning uh, in this front rack. Shoulders, easy one to do. Put your hands here on the desk, drop your chair back, nice flat back, drop your head through. Just kind of push down on your desk, make sure you don't flip it over. You'll start to feel a pretty good stretch through your shoulders. And maybe if we have some overhead work later on that day, that'll help you loosen up some positioning. Um, so talk about the hip and our hamstrings. Two really good stretches for the hip. The front side of the hip, you can kind of just tuck your feet behind the chair if you have one of these rolly chairs. Drop your knee down, you can continue to work. Just kind of lean back at the hip here and you'll feel a really good stretch to the front side. You can continue to work. I'd hold that at least two minutes on each side. Another one you can work out for the outside of the hip here. We can cross the leg, push down. Depending on how high your desk is or if you can adjust the chair, you can maybe slide your foot underneath the desk itself. You continue to work while still getting that stretch there. Um, last one. And that's good for any squatting day or if you have trouble getting below parallel, either one of those two every day will work. Let's say we're doing some pulling off the ground or some running and our hamstrings are tight. One thing you can do is just work some flexion here, pull into your chest, work all the way out, flex your quad, point your toe, bring it back in. Do that maybe 10 times on each leg. That'll really start to loosen up the back side of your legs, get some ankle flexion in there, get you prepped for any type of jumping or running. Give that a shot.